All of what you just saw was shot on the Blackmagic Micro Cinema camera. And this was the very first cinema camera that I purchased. Investing in this camera has been hands down the best investment I have ever made. And honestly, I probably wouldn't be where I am today without it. So today I'm gonna go over a few reasons why I love this camera so much. I've gone to handheld with different cameras before with the S1H, a C70, and also a Z cam. And honestly, those cameras aren't necessarily heavy, but even this camera rigged up seems to be about the same weight as the other ones. So the times where I am shooting run and gun, which is most of the time, I really do appreciate the lighter weight. And when I first got this camera, I didn't know they could record internal B-RAW, but I didn't use it. I just used the Apple ProRes. And not that Apple ProRes is bad because it's great. Actually, I, I probably use it most of the time, but the flexibility that B-RAW gives you is just insane. It really did start to open my eyes towards what was possible with color grading when I did start to dabble into color grading. And that ties into my next point, image quality. The image quality on this camera is not clean. It gives more of a filmic vibe, which I really like, considering that everyone's trying to go as clean as possible and, and more clinical. I do like the more filmic feel that this camera gives off. Now, depending on what you're shooting, that could be good, that could be bad, but for my personal needs, I love it. Side note, if you buy any Blackmagic camera, make sure you invest in a good IR cut filter. When I was using mine, I just had an ND filter on it. I didn't use an IR cut filter. And because of that, a lot of my images kind of had a green hue to it. So definitely invest in a good IR cut filter. Modularity. Some people see this as a huge downside of this camera. The fact that you kind of have to build it up to use it, which is a, a yes and a no. I mean, it does take LPE6 batteries at the back, but they do not last long at all. So what I actually did is I got a LPE6 to Sony L-Series battery adapter and it lasted me about an hour and a half. So with the five batteries that I have, it pretty much just lasts me the entire shoot. So on my camera, my HDMI port was fried, which is how I got it for a great price. But I had to use the expansion port and use a video component cable to plug into a monitor so I could see what I was doing. Now the last thing I like about this camera, which I know a lot of people are going to find a surprise, I actually do like the menu that is on the Blackmagic Micro. In all honesty, the menu is pretty simple and there's no menu diving in the Blackmagic Micro, which I appreciate. I remember going through the Canon C70 menu for the first time and thinking that you had to have a PhD to do it. And just in my opinion, I know everyone's not going to agree with me, but I think that everyone just needs to copy Blackmagic's UI design because it's just very simple. This is really my first time making a video like this. I'm not really sure what I want to post on this channel yet. I think at first I'm going to start with simple videos like this and then I want to get into more things. I really want to make a video about finding vintage lenses on eBay because honestly it's just so fun. What was your first cinema camera? Was it a Blackmagic Micro like mine or was it a Sony FS5? Let me know in the comments below.